When you have a leader that lives up in an ivory tower, they're desensitized to simple problems, such as why can't Canadians own a freaking house? Housing is unaffordable. It's more expensive in Toronto than it is in like Singapore, than it is in Manhattan, potentially even like Tokyo. I don't know, man. I don't know. But the only really hope that we have to fix Canada, to make housing affordable, to make you know, Canada, a safe country again, is getting Trudeau out of office. And a great person who puts all of these really ridiculous points on blast is Pierre Proliev. And that's what we're going to watch today. Well, Mr. Speaker, he, he would have you believe that Canadians have never had it so good. Uh, we'll ask the 9 and 10 young people who believe they will never own a home. The 35-year-olds living in their parents' basements because they can't afford the new doubling of the average down payment, mortgage payment, or rental costs. And speaking of paychecks, when he took office, the average paycheck, you only needed 39% of the average paycheck to, uh, to make monthly payments on the average house. That number has risen to 62%. By every objective measurement, things are more expensive and Canadians are taking home less. How did he spend so much to achieve so little? No doubt. Prime Minister. Across the country, we've seen record gro job growth. We've seen record number of Canadians lifted out of poverty. We've seen uh, investments to sure, fight sure. climate change that have put more money in people's yes. pockets. We've continued to move forward in growing the economy. But it is only, Mr. Speaker, uh, the Conservative leader trying to say Canadians have never had it so good because we know Canadians are struggling. And that's why we continue to step up uh, with investments in dental care, investments uh, in low-income rental supports, two initiatives that the Conservatives voted against. Against. We will continue to be there to deliver for Canadians while we deliver a better future for everyone. Here, here. The leader of the opposition. He's trying to talk about everything but the housing questions I asked. He just avoids the questions. And why? When he took office, housing was affordable. Now it's impossibly expensive. In fact, it's much more expensive than around the rest of the world. Vancouver is now the third most overpriced housing market, and Toronto, the tenth worst in the world, worse than Manhattan than Singapore, than London, than countless other places with more people, more money. Which is insane to think about because London uses old British money in pounds. And if we're worse than London, that ain't good. That is not good. And less land. In fact, the average house price last year in the United States was barely, was almost half less than it is here in Canada. Why is housing so much more expensive here than elsewhere in the world? Why? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. This sure sucks. We have continually invested in programs and supports for Canadians that have seen uh, millions of families entering new homes, getting the supports they needed, millions of refurbishments, millions uh, of supports uh, right across the country. But it's interesting to contrast the Conservative record on that. In the last election campaign, the Conservative platform promise on housing was to give tax breaks to wealthy landlords. Uh, that was their approach on housing. What we contrasted with significant investments in delivering for first-time home buyers, delivering uh, for uh, people facing homelessness, delivering for Canadian families to access better housing. Yeah, see, the only way we're really going to know what is best for the country is if we swap majorities, if we swap, well, liberals aren't a majority, but if we swap governments, get the libs out, get the conservatives in. Pierre has a lot of great points and a lot of great strategies for fixing housing in Canada. I would love for my kids, since I'm a new father, I would especially love for my kids to be able to afford a house one day. It's taking me a very, very long time. And I got very lucky and that's not the case for a lot of people. And so we need to be strategic. We need to add social pressure to the situation. Pierre, you're the man. Love to know what your guys' thoughts are on this video. Do you think one day every single Canadian will potentially be able to own a home? Wouldn't that be nice? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the entire video. If you want to help grow this channel, you can like and subscribe. I've made it really easy for you. You can subscribe by hitting this button right there. Or if you want to continue watching another video, you can do so right here. And if you'd like to move on to question period highlights, I have an additional channel called House of Canada, and that is linked right there. Basically, it's just Trudeau getting completely destroyed, and Jagmeet gets pegged by Trudeau because that's what he is. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.